Hello everybody, Mulato Pia, Brachu PSL, let us use having my guest again here. Um let's start with the topic of Atazwane, which was also a trending uh, previous days when they say Atazwane uh is not is distancing himself from uh, the new head coach and second leaf. What do you say about it? Yeah, um like you just uh mentioned uh this this head coach thing in taking modise molife molife yeah yeah mr Nseki just came into color cheese and i also had some complaints about it some people will actually say he's not experienced enough that kind of a thing never won any cup or never won i don't think that is what people should be worried about matter of fact you see after Zwane on his side, I understand that he was a head coach for Kaza Chiefs. Yes. For a while, he was used to being in charge. You yes. know, he was getting maybe used to it. He grew into it. Mm. And he became kind of comfortable. Yeah, he became so comfortable. Yeah, of course, we were supporting him. We support him. I still support him even today. But what, what I think he should be looking at if the rumors are true. Yes. That he, he's feeling uncomfortable with being... Uh, um, uh, released from his duties yes. as a head coach and be placed somewhere yeah. below yeah maybe yeah i understand that but he must see this as a learning curve yes it's an opportunity to learn from somebody who's bringing also the new experience because we don't know what mr zeki is gonna do already he must be having a game plan i yes. mean dr kism town won't just grab anyone yes. and throw him in there yes. Uh, but I might also let me just cut you a little bit. I must also believe to these rumors because uh Kansas Chiefs uh, if they are shooting that there are like pictures coming from the from Nigeria. I never saw Atazwane with the uh, Nsekim I only saw uh Nsekim and also Dylan and Shepard together. I don't know, friends, if you saw uh, a picture, you can tell me about it because uh we know that if as a, a as as coaches you can shoot pictures together. Uh maybe you know you're not aware that they are shooting a picture, but you understand yes i get that yeah they, they will catch you off balance sometimes yes. like when you're not even aware yes that whatever the behavior you you yes. are pushing behind the scene can yes. get displaced like yes. that you know what i'm saying so uh, not you are not actually. aware uh we we don't think there is actually real bad blood because nothing really came out yes but uh, as for them being so distant in yes. pictures yes also you know a picture tell it can tell really a thousand words yes yeah that is also maybe he's not happy and i won't blame him as much but uh, uh, in his shoes yes. i was gonna say um he should actually just sort of chill pill a little bit you know yes take a, a relax where they put you observe ask questions so you can understand because sometimes being taking these things too serious being personal can really uh, mess up your brain you see what i'm saying yes uh, yes yeah obviously oh bro if you're talking about the bread <laughs> guys 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 i was like um so amazed and also shocked at the same time when i saw did you saw drip just partnered with the uh, morocco swallows i actually didn't see that for seeing yes but well uh could be like uh, what what you say it's a rumor is it confirmed it's confirmed i saw even the statement on um on swallows as a page twitter page they are confirming that uh drip now part partnership with uh, morocco swallows for the next season we saw many you still remember compeller yes uh jali well, now it's drip okay compeller is a head coach for morocco swallows yes uh, great news i'm happy i love morocco swallows yes uh jali is very very good uh i think he plays defense yes yeah he's from uh, sundowns yes. and he's got an international experience True. very good for those young boys and now yeah. with drip uh mr lekau i don't remember his name very well yes um that is a big break and actually it's very good for solos i like uh, his approach to business yes. he's a young man at his age and he went and like we're gonna see now solos uh kit with a drip written on it yes uh that is a very big billboard because solos will be playing every week you see what i'm saying and that is premier league now yes and you must understand one thing this boy he's got a I'm sorry for saying he's a boy but um <laughs> yeah matter he's all he's bit yeah he's in his prime yes so um i like his his acumen how he looks at business yeah. because really people are going to start asking yes how did he get there does he have enough money to sponsor yes a big brand like solo solo is yes. still a big brand yes you understand they've yes. been here for years and years mm so how did he get the money how did he go in actually there are there can be two ways to it yes first uh you have to pay uh the team to wear your clothes your yes. your brand yes you see because that is advertising true you see 
And then what happens when you have money? Because somebody might be sitting there. How did he get it? No, actually, there is another way. You can share a stake of your brand. Say you own 100 points, 100% of the whole thing. You can go to Salus and say, look, guys, for three years, you can own 70% even of, of all the money I'm going to make out of this, the sales of drip. Because Salus, they'll be advertised. They, they can always just look at how much they can, they can be taking home as well. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they can also be looking at empowering one of their own. You see, he's a local guy. Yeah. He's a South African, so it's a South African team. And what you can do is you give them 70% and pay them nothing. And they only they share on profits. Uh -huh. Well, whatever you sell, they own a stake in it. You see what I'm saying? And these are real shares. Mm -hmm. You see, you can do that if you cannot, you cannot pay these guys what they are asking for. But if you have money, you can also even uh, invite other investors and say, okay, Solos want maybe like 100 million for an example. Yes. To wear my my clothes. Yes. You bring someone in and say, look, I was about to give them maybe 50% or 70% if they wear it for free. And then we share every year, we share sure. our annual shares. Yes. Uh, annual year, we share this money. Mm. And then the other investor can just buy 70% of that. That Solos didn't want. Yes. Maybe they want money upfront because they still have to pay players or to buy more players yes. then you can bring say say maybe for an example mm. example you can bring the the big mr ivan causa in yes if he has that capital and say look i'm a drip guy i want you to take 70 percent of solos yes give them 100 million and you owe 70 percent for five years when five years is done mr drip guy owns the whole hundred now he's back to him 100 <laughs> percent yeah and then his advertisement is done for five years, he's been grossing money, advertising through Solos and whichever other media stream yes. is using. Yes. So sometimes these things, that is how you invest in these teams. Yes. Like uh, more especially when you, uh, a little bit, let's go back to Kaiser Chiefs. Yes. We, we, we could be sitting here thinking that they were giving all the money. Yes. But Kappa could have also did the, the same way. Yes. Could have said, okay, we'll give you 100 million US dollars. Yes. Kappa is very big. Yeah. Give you 100 million dollars. Yeah. Uh, have you guys wearing our clothes for five years and after that is done or they can say to guys you are not giving you 100 million we will give you of 100 million we'll give you 50 million and you can wear our kappa for three years you see what i'm saying yes from there we are done or they can go to it's kappa they can still go to someone else that we don't know they can go to any you can go to gucci even and say, Gucci, look, Kaiser Chiefs, they want 100 million. Mm. We don't want to give them 100 million. We'll give them 50 million. You give them 50 million. You you only share in the profits that uh, Kappa is going to make out of Kaiser Chiefs. Wait a minute. If I'm still asking, if I can ask, I mean, I also saw like uh, teams from Spain. They've got too much sponsors on their Too teams. many. Yes. Yeah. You you see what I'm saying? You yeah. see chartered accountants. Yeah. And then you see. That uh, way, all those things. Yeah. You see Qatar Airways. Yes. You see AON. Yeah. Those, those countries. Yeah. Because sometimes you you are the guy. Mula uh, mm. Dope. You, you get a team. Yes. With your brand. You say, okay, Mula Clothing. Mm. Yes. And then you go to Adidas and then you go to everyone and say, look, they agreed to wear my clothes. Yes. If I pay them 70 million, yes. I don't have even any. But guys, I can give you even 100%. <laughs> not exactly 100%, maybe 99%. Yeah, let me correct myself. Yeah. Maybe 99% I own 1%. I just need advertising. Adidas, Puma, everyone, let's come together. And these guys, they wear my name. They can wear your little name somewhere on the right, somebody on the left, mm -hmm. someone on yeah, the yeah, arm, yeah, you understand? Yeah. So you, you keep 99% of whatever I'm making for five years. When we are done, you know that you got all the advertising you needed. And now five years has expired, 100%, 99% comes back to you. You are back with 100%. Your brand is much stronger than ever now. Mm. Now you can go and kill it you know make all the money i need to i need to uh start to invest on brands <laughs> yeah. yes, yeah. hello guys uh, thank you very much uh, this is my guest i think he explained well about how these things goes especially on brands uh, also with the so every young uh what do you call it young entrepreneur yes yeah i can, can always explain. just take a um 
Uh, more especially our fans, you know, um, mm. there are many fans that are sitting out there and they don't know where to place their money, where to put it. Mm. Guys, you need to ask uh, real questions, you know. You just go onto your, your Google, mm. you look for these clubs, you look for the addresses where mm. they are, where, where uh, the addresses where they are. You can just walk in there and ask anyone who's be will be willing to really answer your question, see how you can actually invest more into a brand that you support. You see what I'm saying? And then congratulations to Mr. Lekawe and Solos and everyone and whoever is making good money out there. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you very much.